welcome to this 20 minute full body flow. Join me on the mat for 20 minutes of fluid movement and breath, balancing strength and ease in the body. We're gonna get into all the AT body parts from the head to the toes. We'll get into the head and the neck, the shoulders, the hands and wrists. We'll touch the spine, we'll get into the hips, all the way to the feet. So this is a grounding practice that can be modified up or down to suit your body's needs. And every body is unique. This class is about being in yours. For the best experience of this class, it'd be great if you had one or two blocks or something to support your hands or your body as we move through our practice. I'll see you on the mat. Welcome to our 15 minute full body flow. So we're gonna begin on the mat in a child's pose. Child's pose isn't for everyone, but um, if you can come into it, we'll take the knees wide, arms forward, and ground the forehead on a block or the mat. If that feels like a lot on the hips, stack the hips on the knees. Bring the arms forward onto the forearms and then ground the forehead, maybe on a block. So if you need a little more space in your pose, we can always take a block under the forehead. So coming into the position most comfortable for you and your body, and we'll take a few breaths here together. Closing your eyes. Start to lengthen and extend the breath in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in, bring your full awareness to the breath. As you breathe out, completely release the breath, letting go of tension, tightness, resistance, and stress in the body. Let's take two more breaths like that, lengthening and stretching on the inhale, feeling the space in your body. And on the exhale, let it all go, drop into the ground. On the next inhale, let's rise to tabletop. So we'll stack the hips on the knees, the shoulders on the wrists. Spread the fingers nice and wide on the mat and push down through the fingertips, push down through the thumbs. As you exhale, press the floor away, hollow the belly, round the spine, chin to chest. As you inhale, drop the belly, open up through the chest, pull the shoulders back and soften the elbows. You can lift the chin, exhale, press the floor away. Inhale. Feel that full breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it all go through the nose or mouth. Inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. And as you exhale, let's shift the ribs a little to the right. Then hollow the belly round the spine, shift the ribs a little to the left. Drop the belly, open the heart. So we're circling the torso. The ribs guide the flow. Come back to the breath. Circle right, hollow round as you exhale. Circle left, drop the belly as you inhale. And then we'll change direction of our circling to even out the movement in the body. We wanna feel this movement from the crown of your head to your toes. So feel it in your body. Notice the breath. Now taking the circles to the hips, let's shift the hips to the right. Circle back to the heels, exhale. Shift the hips left and forward, inhale. Exhale, press back. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Change direction. Getting into the side waist, getting into your hips. Releasing through the low spine. Notice the quality of the breath in the body. Good. Exhale, sink back into the heels. And on the inhale, we're gonna press forward into a lifted cobra. So we're gonna slowly lower to the thighs, lower to the belly, open up through the heart, pull the shoulders back and down. Exhale, ground the forehead. Lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, we peel the body up off the mat. Exhale, sink right back toward the heels. Good, inhale forward. Open up the heart. Exhale, ground the forehead. Inhale, peel off the ground. Sink into the heels. Exhale. 
forward on the inhale, lifted cobra, grounding down, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, sink it back. We'll come back into our tabletop from here. We're gonna get nice and open through the chest and hips. We'll start by taking the left foot just outside the mat. Top of the foot presses down. Take your right foot to the back edge of your mat. So we're in a tripod now where the hand, the knee, and the back foot are supporting us. We're gonna float the right arm high and reach through the fingers. So we wanna root down through the feet, through the knee, through the hand, and then lengthen up and out of that. We can send the hips and heart a little more forward. We can bring the head and that top arm a little more back. Feel that opening through the heart space, opening through the hips. Exhale, circle down, tabletop. We're gonna come into this on the other side. So we take the right foot just outside our mat. We take the left foot to the back edge, float the left arm high. Lengthen and lift out of your foundation. And then we send the hips and heart forward. Let that left arm, let the head come back. Feel the freedom in your chest. Exhale, left hand to the floor. One more each side. We can add on a little more. Left foot outside the mat, right foot to the back edge. Right arm floats up. From here, see if we can float that top leg and reach through the heel. Lengthen everything and then find that space again. So we send the hips and heart forward. We let the head and arm come back. Exhale, circle down. Other side. Planting first to set the foundation and then lengthen out of it. Maybe we can float that top leg, reach the heel. Send hips and heart forward, let the left arm and head come back. Exhale, circle down, tabletop. Hollow the belly around the spine. Drop the belly, open the heart, inhale. Flip on the toes, take this back to downward dog. So we pick up the knees, we send the hips back, drop the head heavy between your arms, press the hands evenly into the ground. Let's keep a little softness in our knees here. We're gonna pedal the heels left and right. Connect to the breath. On your inhale, we're gonna roll forward to a plank pose. So we can modify the plank if you like, drop into the knees. Then take the hips back, all the way back and up to downward dog. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, press back and up. So we can tap the knees to the mat if we need a little more support, or we can keep the knees just off the ground as we flow. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back and up. And if your wrists are getting a little tired here, push into your fingers, push into your thumbs. Or if you need to, we can come onto the forearms for this one. And just find your transition from here, forearm plank, to here, dolphin stretch. Maybe even dropping the knees if you need even more support. So we're gonna continue our rolls, whether you're in down dog or dolphin, building a little more heat from the inside out. Maybe the breath is a little more powerful now, in and out through the nose. Good. Let's come back to plank pose. Drop the knees, move through Chaturanga, exhale. Find a lifted cobra, plant the hands and lift the heart. Pull the shoulders back and down. We're gonna take a few breaths here. If you can, go ahead and look over your shoulders. Feel a little twist to the torso here. Opening up through the low spine, connecting to the breath. And then we'll lower down, bringing our forehead on our hands. So one hand on the other, forehead on the hands. And to release through the low spine, we can pick up the feet, let them drop side to side. Take a breath here. Lowering the feet back down. We're gonna bring the legs together for a little cobra series. Press down through the tops of the feet. Take your hands either side of the ribs. On the inhale, find your lifted cobra. And then from here, see if we can lift the hands off the ground and take the arms back. Reach back through the fingers, connect to the breath. The neck is an extension of the spine in this pose, so you wanna find a gaze on the ground just in front of you. Feel the body, feel the breath. On your inhale, see if we can find a little more length. On the exhale, maybe a little more lift. Lengthen, lift. 
Use the breath. For four, for three, for two, for one. Take the arms a little wider, reach through your toes and see if we can lift the legs. All right, we're gonna try that again. Inhale, find length. Exhale, lift just the legs. So from your hips through your toes, length and lift. Length and lift. We're building strength in our back core here. We're building heat from the inside out. Good. Three, two, and one. Slowly lower down, one hand on the other, forehead to hands. You can pick up the feet and let them drop side to side. In your body with your breath. Long breathing in, long breathing out. Lower the feet back down. Take the hands wider than your mat and press up to seal pose. So find a comfortable position here, nice and lifted. Pull the shoulders back and down. We can lift the chin and open the throat. We can drop the chin and open the back of the neck. Right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, little lift of your chin. Back down through center, other side. Good, and just one more side to side. Just getting into the neck, releasing that tension. And then we'll get into the shoulders. We're gonna take the right shoulder down to the mat and look to your left, and then switch. So drop the left shoulder, look right. Inhale, press back up. Circle down, right shoulder, left shoulder, press back up, inhale. Circle down and press back up on the inhale. One more. Good. Now change direction. So we'll start with the left shoulder and the right. Inhale to come up. Exhale to lower down. Feel the sensation in the shoulder blades. Two more circles. One more circle. To center, inhale, maybe lifting the chin. Exhale, slowly lower down. One hand on the other, forehead on the hands. Pick up the feet, let them drop side to side. Good. On your next inhale, we're gonna flip on the toes. Take the hands either side of the ribs, press to the knees and back to downward dog. Let the head shake. Let's release any tension or tightness here. Soften your jaw. We'll take the right leg back on an inhale. And on the exhale, send it between the hands. Now, if it doesn't get there, if it's only halfway up the mat, we can pick it up and take it there. From your lunge position, we'll shift the weight forward and back. Now, for some of you, you might need a little more space in your lunge, so you can take your blocks under the hands at any setting and that's gonna bring a little more space here to get into your hips, to get into your hamstrings. In our body, with our breath. Good. Coming back into your lunge position. From here, we're gonna see if we can get a little lighter on the hands. Reach back to the heel, forward to the crown of the head, engage the belly, float the arms back. Reach back through the fingers. We can stay here or we can try interlacing the fingers. It's a little challenging for balance. And we can drop to the back heel for some more support as we bow over the thigh. Humble warrior. Let the head drop, let the arms reach back, shoulders off your ears. Find your breath. For five, four, three, two, reach, one, we're gonna unravel, sweep the arms forward and high, come into your high lunge, and we're back on the toe mound on that back foot. Reaching up and out of the body, reaching, pulling out of the stretch. Exhale, carefully lower down. Keep your left hand planted on the mat, or maybe take a block under the hand, and we'll spin to the right. Good, float the right arm high, find your twist. Gaze goes up if it feels okay, you could also look straight ahead or down. Good. Scissor the thighs. Maybe we can pick up the left hip and isolate the twist a little more. On the exhale, circle down. Ground your back heel. We're gonna cartwheel open to warrior two. So from warrior two, we wanna feel the shoulders stacking on the hips. 
We're reaching up out of those shoulders. We're sinking into our lunge. We want to feel the front hip nice and open. Knee stacking on the ankle. Good. On your inhale, find length in the pose. On the exhale, soften your shoulders and sink your hips. Left hand to back leg, right arm high, peaceful warrior. Exhale to side angle, left arm overhead. Circle that left hand down and back and up. So we exhale to circle down. Inhale to reach high. Change directions. Three circles. Good. And then lower down. Take your right foot back, downward facing dog. From your down dog, pedal the heels, shake out the head. And then we'll go ahead, take the left leg back, inhale. Left foot between the hands, exhale. Low lunge. Shift the weight forward and back. Maybe we're using our blocks here, maybe not. Getting a little more grounded, stronger through your core, float the arms back. Reach back through the fingers, forward through the crown of head. Scissor the thighs. We can interlace the fingers and reach back now, ground the back heel. Bow over the thigh. Reach through the finger grip, pull the shoulders off the ears. Lots of power here in our legs. Inhale, root to rise. Float high. Good. Exhale, hands to the ground. We're going to twist again. So take your right hand on a block or a mat and we'll spin left. Float the left arm high. Good. We'll see if we can isolate the twist a little more. We'll pick up the right hip. Reach through the fingers and twist. Exhale, circle down. Ground your back heel. Cartwheel up for warrior two on the other side. So here we're sinking down into that lunge again. Drop the hips. Toes point forward. Reach forward, reach back. Shoulders pull down the back, sink a little deeper. Right hand to the back leg, left arm high, peaceful warrior. Exhale, left form to thigh, right arm overhead. Circle down. Reach back. Inhale, high. Two more circles. Open up the shoulders. Change direction. Three times. Good. And then circle down, take the left foot back, downward dog. Drop to the knees, sink back into the heels for a child's pose or come back to your puppy stretch with the hips on the knees for a few breaths. We can let the hips shift a little side to side. Inhale, roll up. We'll send the legs forward. Slide the body up the mat. We'll hold the knees. So you want to make sure you have lots of space behind you. On your inhale, send the heart forward. Pull the shoulders back, lift the chin. On the exhale, we're going to roll all the way back. Hug the thighs into the chest. Rock a little side to side from here. We can hold the knees, the shins, or the backs of thighs here. We want to feel the tailbone on the floor. We want to feel the shoulders pressing down to the floor the back of the neck long. Ground the feet, take the arms wide. On the exhale, let the knees drop to the right, turn your gaze to the left. Press through the knees, press through the shoulders. Feel the stretch through the belly, through the ribs, through the hips. Inhale, back to center. Other side, exhale. Drop the knees, spin through the torso. Back to center. Ground the feet, bring your arms down by your sides. On the inhale, lift the hips, lift the belly, lift the heart. Bridge stretch, press into the shoulders, lengthen the back of the neck, and exhale, slowly lower down. Bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop open. We'll take our last few breaths here. We can bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Notice the breath. Take a deep breath in, feel the belly rise. Feel the chest fill up. As you breathe out, empty the body gently. Two more like that. One 
more full breath in. And out. Slowly pull the knees together. We'll gently roll over to our right or left side and press up to a comfortable seat. All right. Thanks everyone for joining practice today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Namaste. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying what we're sharing, please give us a like, and you can also subscribe to this channel below. And if you wanna follow us along on this journey, you can find us at kin.co or on Instagram at kinsite.